When you're ready to rise up, you'll rise up. All the power you need is in your hands. Now look around you. Our financial systems have been hijacked by a generation of thieves. While you're working harder and harder for less and less, the game is being rigged against you. They're turning all of us into virtual slaves. Looters, at the heart of our financial system, are price-fixing our most precious resources. Food, water, energy, gold, even the value of money itself is being siphoned away by high-level crooks in a giant mushrooming conspiracy of unstoppable corruption. They're robbing billions of people of trillions of dollars a year, folks. There is no need for austerity measures. There is no need for financial suffering. No need for poverty. There is no scarcity. We are simply the victims of a robbery of unimaginable proportions. We have been fed a lie so vast it oppresses all of humanity. The truth is, there is more than enough to go around. 60 years ago, productivity was increasing so fast, they predicted by today, entire families could live comfortably on the income of just one provider, working only 10 hours a week. They wondered what we'd do with all of our spare time. What happened to that dream? Turns out they were right. What took a full work week back then can be done in just 10 hours today. We have technologies that multiply our efforts a thousandfold and connect us in ways they never imagined. We are now a hundred times richer than in that great heyday of the 50s. We are heirs to a great bounty of prosperity, 70 trillion in the US alone, over $200,000 for every man, woman, and child. The only reason we don't experience this wealth is because it's being siphoned away by a corrupt criminal class. They loot through giant corporations, raising prices, lowering wages, stealing the fruits of our productivity. Where once whole families prospered with just one provider, now both parents work, delivering eight times the productivity but struggling to make ends meet. They control the media using hot button social issues to divide us, brother against brother, so we fight each other while they loot our sacred institutions. They make us fear too big to fail banks collapsing, but if they did, we'd suddenly recover the eight times our income that's being siphoned away every single day. Don't give yourselves to these crooks who abuse you and enslave you, who steal your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel. Let us burn these leeches off our backs. Let us replace their corrupt systems with better systems that benefit everyone. Let us reclaim the fruits of our productivity. Let us share our prosperity. We can do this now. We are the creators, and when we come together, we have the power to create whatever future we want.